continuation of our mission to truthfully go where no news will have been going before. From Middle East Eye, Saudi Arabia hosts top Palestinian Fatah and Hamas officials. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas Politburo Ismail Haniya and other officials are in Riyadh. Saudi Arabia is hosting on Monday Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas Politburo Ismail Haniya, who is on his first trip to Riyadh in over a decade. Abbas is visiting Riyadh with Hussein al-Sheikh, the Secretary General of the Executive Committee of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the PLO, and Majid Faraj, the head of the Palestine Authority's General Intelligence Service. Abbas and Haniya met face-to-face in Algeria in July 2022 for the first time in five years. It's unclear if they'll meet in Riyadh to iron out their disputes or if the Saudi-sponsored talks will be held separately behind closed doors. The PA, which is dominated by the Fatah party and Hamas, the de facto ruler of the Gaza Strip, have been at odds over a range of political disagreements since 2007. Two weeks ago, Saudi Arabia's King Salman invited Abbas to an official iftar in the last days of Ramadan. Bassem al aqa Palestinians or Palestine's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, told the Voice of Palestine Radio that Abbas will arrive in Saudi Arabia on Monday and will hold his meetings on Tuesday. There is continuous communication with the leadership of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that's distinguished and well-established stances towards Palestine. He said, adding that the visit will discuss the latest political developments. Last December, Abbas attended the Arab-Chinese summit in Riyadh and met Chinese President Xi Jinping on the sidelines. On Sunday, Hania headed a Hamas delegation to Riyadh with Salah al aruri his deputy, Musa Abu Marzouk, a member of the Hamas Political Bureau. Also, Khalid Michel, the head of the group abroad, was in attendance. The delegation will reportedly first pay a pilgrimage to Islam's holiest site in Mecca. A source cl- close to Hamas told Andalu Agency that the delegation is scheduled to meet with Saudi officials to discuss a number of issues related to Palestinian and regional affairs and bilateral issues between the kingdom and the movement. The issue of Palestinian detainees in Saudi Arabia will top the agenda of the Hamas visit as it's scheduled to take several days, the source said. On Saturday, Abu Marzouk tweeted that Hamas is not part of any political or military axis, regardless of name and address. We are an Islamic resistance movement, and we seek relations with all living forces in the region and the world. The tweet, posted just ahead of a meeting with Saudi officials, was perhaps also meant to assuage the perception in Riyadh that Hamas is too close to Iran. Saudi authorities earlier this year released two Palestinians with close ties to Hamas from prison. Suleiman Haddad and his son Yahya Haddad were among nearly 68 Palestinians and Jordanians arrested in 2019 over accusations of having links to an unidentified terrorist organization. Zionist aggression. Michel was the last high-ranking Hamas official to visit Saudi Arabia in 2015. Saudi Arabia was a mediator in reconciliation talks between the Fatah movement and Hamas and the sponsor of the Mecca Agreement in February 2007. Abbas and Hania's visit came at a time of increased Zionist aggression against Palestinian Muslim and Christian worshippers in the old city in occupied East Jerusalem and occupied occupiers assaults on Palestine villages in the occupied West Bank. Abbas said on Sunday that Zionist assaults on Christians celebrating the Holy Saturday in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in occupied Jerusalem 
in occupied Al Quds, which were preceded by attacks on worshippers in the Blessed Al Aqsa Mosque and the desecration of its courtyards, is something condemned and rejected. This exposes the falsity of the occupation which claims to allow freedom of worship in holy places, he added. And from the cradle, Hamas PA leaders in KSA as regional powers rekindle ties. By hosting Palestinian leaders, the kingdom signaling a move away from normalization with the Zionists. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas arrived in Saudi Arabia and is set to meet with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman today, 18 April, to discuss the latest developments of the Palestine cause and the situation in the region and to strengthen the Palestinian-Saudi relations, Wafa News Agency reported. The Al-Quds al-Arabi reported that Abbas's visit coincided with that of senior Hamas delegation headed by Politburo Chief Ismail Haniyeh, Though this was not confirmed by Riyadh, Hamas sources reported that Hania international relations official Musa Abu Marzouk, head of the wound, head of the wounded and prisoners office Zahir Zahbaran or Jabarin, and the movement's head ab- abroad Khalid Mashal, were all in the kingdom, presumably for religious reasons during Ramadan. However, the visit follows a significant improvement in Saudi Arabia's relationship with Iran, currently a Hamas ally, and ongoing efforts to resume official and diplomatic relations between the two countries. Saudi Arabia shocked observers and reached a deal to reestablish relations with Iran following extensive talks sponsored by Beijing in early March. According to the Times of Israel, a trip by a senior Hamas delegation to Saudi Arabia represents a major development as Zionist hopes of forging official ties with Riyadh appear to dwindle further. End quote. Upon his return to office as prime minister in December, Benjamin Netanyahu had prioritized including the kingdom in the Abraham Accords, which saw the UAE and Bahrain normalize relations with Tel Aviv in 2020. Netanyahu had hoped to unite with Saudi Arabia against their common regional rival, Iran. However, Riyadh became reluctant to normalize with Zionists not only following its reconciliation with Iran, but also following increased raids by the Zionist military in the occupied West Bank, increased home demolitions and increased settlement building following Netanyahu's inclusion of extremist settlers such as Itamar bin Giver and Betzalel Smotrich as ministers in his cabinet. And just a note here, this idea that the UAE and Bahrain normalized relations with Tel Aviv with the Abraham Accords, I have a feeling, you know, well, it's just a feeling, but I have, I have a premonition, uh, and to be honest with you, politically it is more advantageous for the UAE and Bahrain to recognize that they are moving away from that in some ways. And of course, in succession, Qatar, it seems. These moves were then followed by a Zionist settler pogrom against Palestinians in Huwara, as well as call from Smotrich to wipe out the West Bank town that was strongly condemned by Saudi officials. The U.S. media reported last week that Saudi Arabia had become reluctant to normalize ties with Zionists as a result. The Saudi move appears to further isolate Zionists regionally, which is already worried that its long covert war with Iran and its allies is moving into an unpredictable new phase, as the Wall Street Journal reported on 15 April. The Wall Street Journal cited concerns that the resistance axis, including Iran, Syria, Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, is coordinating its response to recent Zionist violence in Syria and occupied Palestine under the leadership of Quds Force Commander Ismail Khani. The Times of Israel noted further that Saudi-Hamas relations had been poor since 2007 as Saudi leaders had blamed Hamas for the failure of attempts at reconciliation between Hamas and the Palestinian Authority's Fatah party. In 2019, Saudi authorities arrested dozens of Hamas militants saying they were threatening the kingdom's rule, but in recent months, Hamas leaders sent messages that they would like to improve ties, after which Saudi Arabia released many of these detainees, including 
senior member Mohammed Al Khodari. Also from Middle East Eye, Saudi Arabia to host first Hamas delegation in over a decade. Palestinian leaders, including Ismail Haniya, to travel to Riyadh on Monday to discuss improving relations after years of tension. Ismail Haniya, a senior political leader of the Palestinian movement Hamas and de facto ruler of the besieged Gaza Strip, is shown in a pic here. And Hamas political chief Ismail Haniya will visit Saudi Arabia on Monday for the first such visit in years, according to Palestinian media sources. A senior delegation from the group will lead to Riyadh after years of frosty relations with the kingdom, which has arrested many people with ties to the group. While there has been or has not been official confirmation of the trip from Riyadh, the delegation is expected to hold talks with Saudi officials on a number of Palestinian and regional issues as well as bilateral relations between Hamas and the kingdom. According to Palestine media outlets, the issue of Palestine detainees in Saudi Arabia will top the agenda of talks. Following its landmark rapprochement with Iran, Riyadh is looking to also reset its relationship with Hamas. The high-level delegation includes Hamas Politburo Chief Haniya, his deputy Saleh al-Aruri, and the head of the group abroad, Khaled Mishal, according to various Palestinian and Arab League or Arab language media outlets. The delegation will reportedly first pay a pilgrimage to Islam's holiest site in Mecca. Islamic resistance movement, Hamas's relationship with Riyadh has been frosty since 2007. When the group took over the Gaza Strip, Saudi leaders have blamed Hamas for the failure of attempts at reconciliation between it and the Palestinian Authority's ruling Fatah party. On Saturday, Musa Abu Marzouk, a member of the Hamas political bureau, went on Twitter to say Hamas is not part of any political or military axis regardless of name and address. We are an Islamic resistance movement and we seek relations with all living forces in the region and the world. The tweet posted just ahead of a meeting with the Saudi state is or was perhaps also meant to assuage the perception in Riyadh that Hamas is too close to Iran and Saudi authorities earlier this year released two Palestinians with close ties to Hamas from prison. Suleiman Haddad and his son Yahya Haddad were among nearly 68 Palestinians and Jordanians arrested in 2019 and accused of having links to an unidentified terrorist organization. The group was tried in mass trials in 2020 and a year later handed prison sentences ranging from six months to 22 years. Following the release, Izzat al-Rashk, a member of Hamas political bureau, thanked the Saudi government considering it a significant step in the right direction. In October last year, Saudi Arabia also released the former representative of Hamas after more than three years in detention. Mohammed al-Khudari, 84, was released along with his son Hani al-Khudari and deported to Jordan. Saudi Arabia and Hamas have enjoyed a close relationship since the group's inception more than 30 years ago. A number of its founders and close associates lived in the Gulf Kingdom, where large donation campaigns were launched for the movement and its charitable institutions, some with official Saudi blessing. In recent months, Hamas leaders have sent signals that they would like to mend ties with the kingdom in turn Saudi Arabia's released detainees. Saudi Arabia's warning or warming of relations with Hamas is also likely to dampen hopes that the kingdom will establish uh, diplomatic relations with the Zionists. Recent reports in the U.S. media suggest that Riyadh has cooled on the idea amid ongoing violence in the West Bank. From Aram Online, Saudi Crown Prince, Palestinian President Tackle Occupied Territory Developments in Jeddah. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman met on Wednesday with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in Jeddah. The talks focused on developments in the Palestinian territory, Saudi and Palestinian media reported. The two leaders stressed the importance of ongoing efforts to secure the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people and establish an independent Palestine state with al-Quds as its capital in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative and relevant international resolutions, the Saudi Prince Agency reported. Abbas visit, Abbas's visit to Saudi Arabia comes following weeks of tension and violence between Zionist and Palestin, 
Palestine and Al Quds and the West Bank. In addition, cross border fire between Zionists and Lebanon have sparked fears of renewed conflict. The visit of the chairman of the Palestine Authority coincides with the arrival of senior Hamas delegation headed by Ismail Haniyeh in Saudi Arabia. The visit is the first by Hamas officials to the kingdom since 2015. The Hamas delegation performed Umrah on Tuesday with videos circulated on social media showing Hamas leaders Hania and Khalid Meshal performing the Umrah in Mecca. A Hamas source told Anadolu news agency the group is scheduled to hold talks with Saudi officials to discuss the latest Palestinian developments and Hamas-Saudi relations. It's yet unclear whether Abbas and Haniyeh will meet during this visit to Saudi Arabia, according to Anadolu. During Hamas' 2015 visit to Saudi Arabia, Michelle met with King Salman bin Abdulaziz and senior Saudi officials. I'm going to open up a channel. Beam me up, Mr. Spock. 